Hey guys, what's up? What's good? It's your girl Jenny B. And I'm talking a little low because I'm in my house and I have a hair sticking up that won't go down. Whatever. So today's video I'm gonna show you how to make my lazy girl mashed potatoes. This is like to me the quickest way to make fast and easy mashed potatoes, especially if it's like for yourself or for you and another person or if you're a small family of like you and two others like three people then this works out really easy because it's i find it super convenient instead of doing like all the extra steps that you would do for regular mashed potatoes this is just my version y'all let me know what you think if it's a hit or a miss i do it all the time because it's super convenient while making meat i could have that going you're gonna see how i do it and yeah well it's garlic i do butter garlic mashed potatoes to me it tastes like the cheese factory's mashed potatoes so if y'all like that then this oh my god <laughs> sorry my hair is bothering me then this video is for y'all already so let's get on i'm gonna do a voiceover or i'm just gonna be talking through the video so you're gonna see and let me know what you think already guys also don't forget if you have not yet subscribe like and comment all right but when you subscribe make sure you hit that post notification bell all right you guys oh also i was thinking of i make drinks because i'm like an inspired bartender low-key like i literally want to own my own bar one day so i have some drinks that i've made like frozen drinks like a honey culotta margaritas like frozen and some concoctions that i've made that are low key high key really good and my friends when we've had our own parties like i make drinks and they like it so i think i'm pretty good so if you guys want videos on that comment down below and i will make videos boo all right guys <laughs> now we're really going on to the video to start with lazy girl mashed potatoes we are going to wash our potatoes i use about three to four roughly like medium small potatoes medium and uh we will chop these up and i'll cut this part out but while we're chopping we're gonna have our water boiling and i'm gonna have it at a high temperature so that by the time we're done this will be done so there is no specific size on how to cut your potatoes. You just cut them into cubes, into chunks. Okay. And you know, don't leave them too big, but you don't have to make them super small. It's fine. Because we're they're going to get mushed together regardless. So. Remember, this is just a fast way of doing it, a shortcut way. I also like to use garlic powder and put it in the water while it's boiling so that the potatoes can absorb the garlic. And that and I also like to add adobo, but not too much because it's very salty and potatoes absorb it so well that you don't want to put too much saltiness because it'll retain in the potato. shake that's it not too much now you would think this is a lot of potatoes but it's really not once you put it in the boiling water and they mush together I'll show you how it happens um, they actually are not a lot it's a okay amount and you could take the skin off but since this is lazy girl mashed potatoes I don't mind the skin and this is just quick and easy lazy girl mashed potatoes you have to do it the lazy way if you want to do that extra time and 
get two, three tablespoons of butter or margarine, whichever you have, uh, and you add garlic powder in it, you can either heat it up in a pot or you can heat it up in like a microwavable bowl or cup and heat it till it's melted. And while that is melting, you're going to drain the water, which I already did. Melted, make sure you mix it, and then you take it and then you pour it in the potatoes, and then you're gonna mix it. Okay, so once you pour that in, you just mix it. You mix it fast with a spoon. Keep mixing and mixing and mixing fast. And then you see they start to get soft. And they start mushing together. And they get creamy. You don't even need that mashed potato like masher thing. added a little bit more butter I added I added two more tablespoons of butter and I'm just gonna keep mixing see it's getting creamy Let me just see so I'm gonna add just a little bit more garlic you could add more to flavoring like taste it as you go and if you feel like you need more just add it it's better to start with a little bit than too much and then be overbearing and then you could also add, if you don't have adobo, you could always use salt and that, but if you feel like you need to add more, do it, but less is always good because, you know, you could always add more, but if you put too much, like, you're, you can't take away from adding too much. Smooth, not cold.